it's not music making. I'm sorry guys, but that's that's just not music making. Hey guys, it's Sunday. We're not heading over to the studio. No knob turning. No studio construction. But of course, as always, I'm trying to squeeze in as much work as possible, even on a Sunday. So while going out for a run, I'm listening to some demos for my label. It's actually not that cold, but unfortunately, no, no good demos so far. So another 5K. Wow, 10K through mud and snow. Definitely the wrong choice. My socks are soaking, soaking wet. It's disgusting. <laughs> and speaking of disgusting, some of the demos, I mean, some were good, some were bad, some were really good, but not the style that fits to my label. But some of them were, were really, really just like disgusting. That's, that's the best way to describe it. Shower, and then we'll talk about, about these socks. way colder when you're out here just just going for a walk. Vanessa's already jumping a little. <laughs> yeah. So these songs like three today and we had that already in the past actually last week in the track submit edition and you might remember a while ago there was like a 14 year old. Do you still remember him? Yes I do. <laughs> that was kind of a, a funny story. So basically in, in a nutshell people just outright stealing either other people's songs or songs that they didn't make and pretending it's theirs. That's just something I don't get. I absolutely don't get it, especially nowadays, internet, everyone connected. A Hessian. Yeah, I don't I don't get people stealing it and, and thinking, getting away with it. Because eventually someone will notice. For example, today someone submitted me a song like a song by Kevin Harris. Can you believe someone sends me a song by Kevin Harris and no, pretend it's theirs? Like, no, that's very stupid. I mean, we're talking about a song that was played a million times on the radio. And then there are songs that I received that entirely, 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 100% are made out of construction kits. Then I sometimes receive songs that are entirely made out of splice samples. So people just taking blocks other people made and just like layering them on top of each other and that's it. And they sometimes don't even mix it or do anything to it. I'm sorry to say this, but this is absolutely not music production, at least to me. I don't know what your opinion is about that topic, but whenever I hear a song where I know nothing was really done, not any artistic kind of choice, just like dragging things together, it makes me a little angry. I would never ever release something like that. I can understand that people start making music like this because that's exactly how I started. I think was it Magic Music Maker? Like, like I don't know, five years before I even started DJing. I was like in a computer course learning kind of thing when computers were a new thing, Windows 95. And I learned programming and like a whole lot of other stuff, but then one was like making music with these blocks and automating cutoffs here and there and like it was fun. I loved it so much. That was like my first contact with it. That's fine, but you have to understand that's not music making. And then we of course got people that use a lot of presets, a lot of samples. I personally, and that is just me, and it's just me right now, because back in the days I used a whole lot of loops and just put a kick underneath. Nowadays, I try to make as much as possible myself because first of all, I enjoy it way more. I have way, way more control. That's actually like the main, main, main reason. I'm even like shaping my own kicks and kick two where I can draw it and whenever I want, whenever I'm getting to a point where a song needs like an adjustment to the kick, I can just do it. Same also for loops. Whenever I use a loop and I sometimes still use loops whenever I'm, I'm looking for like a shaker groove because that's really hard to program but like entire loops or like loops where just the kick is missing, whenever I use them, eventually in my time where I'm producing the song, 
I replace them because I can't control them. I can't make them my own. There is maybe a head in there that is too loud, too quiet, and it just annoys me. I mean, at the end, I want a song that I release to be 100% my decision. And for that, I need control over every single element in there. And that's the only way to do it yourself. Yes, you could now push it even further and start to even, I don't know, like go and record your own drums. And that's then a point again, that's maybe like the, the flip side of it. People doing too little themselves and people doing too much themselves. For example, I know how to play the guitar, but it's not good enough for my own productions. I want to deliver a good song. So I get someone else to do it for me that is like trained in playing the guitar. Same for singing, I just can't sing. And if I need a female voice, I, I can't turn my voice into a female voice. So there, there are limits to it. And, and also limits where it just doesn't make any sense anymore. Just imagine you would program your own synths, build your own DAW, and then like th there is a limit and I think Everyone should find like on the scale between not doing anything and doing everything entirely a point where they're happy. I'd say I'm like in the middle, maybe a little closer towards doing more myself. But then I receive so much music that is at the very, very low end of it. And I understand that beginners start there, but then maybe not send it to someone, maybe when you're at the very end and that is stealing for me, if you're stealing someone else's track, please don't send it to me. It's just wasting my time. It's embarrassing. I might not notice it and put it in my vlog in a track submit and then everyone will comment down below that you just stole it. At least get to a point where you use like samples, one shots, maybe some loops, maybe presets. I think that's like, that's like a good starting point. Everything below that it's not music making. I'm sorry guys, but that's that's just not music making. Let me know what you think about this topic. I will in the meantime do something myself. I've actually never done before. simple it's delicious way more control it's fun you learn something and the most important of all if you do your own you feel this inner kind of feeling of accomplishment that just pushes you a lot further than just taking someone else's work and at least for me personally that's what music making or being creative in general is all about making something that is your own leaving it to other people to enjoy and maybe, maybe even eventually leave like a small mark on this planet. Just a tiny one. I'm saying it's you, got